everyone it's team rocket draws with another pokemon drawing tutorial and for this video we're gonna be drawing the pokemon of destruction evelta so as you guys can see on screen this is how he ends up looking like so if you guys want to learn how to draw him let's get started i'm also gonna put up a reference right now on screen that way you guys can get all your details and basically follow along um so just keep in mind that he's not the easiest pokemon to draw uh, but nevertheless i had fun drawing him um so hopefully you guys do the same and uh yeah let's get started all right so first of all we're gonna start by doing the simple shapes and then from there on we're gonna start adding all the details uh, so first of all we're gonna start by doing this upside down almond shape it's almost like a seed shape and uh, once we have that we're gonna do uh, another shape on top of it as you guys can see right here and the left side is a little bit higher than the right side as I point out right there and also on the right side there's uh, more space in between there we go and basically this is gonna be like the I don't know what that is like the neck the the gray neck I guess like fur or hair I don't know what it is kinda looks like a scarf if you ask me um, so basically that's what that is so now that we have this shape, we're going to start by doing uh, one of the wings, like right in the middle of the wings. So this one starts almost at the same level as the top of the almond shape that we did. And it goes a little bit higher than the than the neck, than the gray part. Doesn't go that high, uh, higher than the actual shape. And now for this one, this one it's a little bit lower than the right one. Uh, but they should basically be the same length. And this one's a little bit curved at the top once it reaches the end. So just try to make them the same length as I point out right there. Although I changed the angle of this one right here later on. Uh, but it's just the simple uh, lines right there. So now that we have that around here at the point of the almond shape, we're going to start doing the body. Right here we're going to do uh, another parallel line to the one that we did before. And as I point out right here, it should basically be half the the size of the almond shape like the thickness of this line and but once it gets to um, the body it gets a little bit it spreads out a little bit more and it should be the same thing on this side but on this side it actually touches the the neck like the, the gray part I erase it right there because it doesn't meet up right it shouldn't be touching the almond shape in other words all right, so now that we have this shape right here, we're gonna start by doing the tail. So around here, as you can see, I do a reference line going across the bottom of the almond shape. So that's how low this line should go. And then I do a line going down um, from the wing. And these lines are just to help us. So now around here, uh, this is how high it goes. As you can see, I did a reference line going um, right there in the corner where the where the wing starts. Now we're just gonna do a parallel line, and uh, it should basically meet up with this one over here. So as you can see, it, it, the the end of the tail uh, goes as high as where the neck starts, where the gray uh, starts. So now that we have that, we could erase all these reference lines. We don't need them no more. And now we could start by doing uh, the basic shape for the hand. So this one starts around here. And it's it's just like, a, it's almost the same thickness as the neck right there. As I point out the, the shape of the neck from here to there. You guys could uh, basically use that as a reference to uh, roughly see how thick this uh, shape is going to be. And it should be almost the same length as the, the wing itself. I erased it just because I didn't like the shape of it, the, the angle and everything. So there we go. Now we have this shape right here. So this part right here is basically going to be the hand where the claws come out. So right here I'm just measuring that they're basically the same length from the, the neck to the hand. And it should be the same thing on the other side. 
you guys could use a paper, you guys could use a ruler, or you guys could just guess. It doesn't really matter, guys. As long as you're close, um, then it really doesn't matter. So now on this side, it's basically the same shape as the one on the other side, the other hand. It might not look like much right now, guys, but trust me, once we start adding all the details, uh, it, it's all going to fall in place. Right now, it's just the, the basic shape. So as long as, as long as you guys have this basic shape right here, um, the rest is just going to fall in place. You know, the rest is nothing but details. So now that we have this shape right here, I guess we can start by adding the, um, the claws or basically like the fingers. So one of them is right here and it gets really close to the actual, to the neck, to the like the gray area. And once again, remember guys, this is just a rough sketch. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better that you make it, the easier it will be once we start doing the actual drawing. Alright, there we go. So as you guys can see, it, it goes a little bit further than halfway of the wing. And that's one of the fingers. All right, so now we're gonna start by doing one of the claws. So one of the claws starts around there, and it goes about that far away from the hand, the, the circle shape for the hand. And as you can see, it's not necessarily a straight line. Um, it just it's curved. It's like a curved line, and it roughly goes to around there. As I point out, doesn't go further than the almond shape. So now this top line right here that we did, as you guys can see, it goes a little bit uh, higher than the actual hand. We could just connect it to make the claw. It might take you guys a couple tries to do these shapes, uh, but remember, uh, it, there, it's just a sketch right now. So we could do any changes later on uh, once we have most of the drawing. All right, so now for this side, this one is actually all the way on the side of the hand. And it's basically the same thing as the previous one that we did. But this one goes higher, it goes further than the actual uh, shape of the hand. And then the top starts around here. And this one goes a little bit higher than the other one. And now we can just connect it to the top. And uh, w one of the things that you guys could focus on is uh, trying to do all these fingers because basically they're fingers. Um, try to do all of them the same like thickness almost. Although this one that we just did uh, should be the biggest one, the thickest one. All right. So now for the other one on this side, this one barely uh, sticks out there, and then almost at the same level. If you guys do a straight line going across. Uh, the hand, the shape for the hand. Uh, this is where this one starts. So, so point out right there. Now we're just gonna do the shape right here. Just do it like, almost like a straight line. And this one goes a little bit further than the than the one that we did before. Now the top. Just curve it. And then just connect it right here. This one is like the mo the one that's mostly a uh, curve. And once again, pay attention to the thickness. So hopefully now you guys can see what we're doing, where we are. All right, there we go. We got the claws. All right. So now that we have the claws, we can start by doing. Um, this shape right here for the for the wing if you guys look at the reference this is basically like the shoulder area like it's, it's like the red part and then it should connect to this one right here almost at the point it's really close to that point if you guys look at the reference you guys will see where we at Right there, I noticed it should be a little bit higher, 
or wait, this is like the black part. Like if you guys look at the wing at the top, it has like a black stripe. So basically that's what that is. All right, so now to do the, the other wing right here, the other hand. So this one starts around here. It barely goes higher than the actual hand, the shape of the hand. Let's call that an oval shape, like the, the hand. But I guess I start over here just to make it a little bit easier. And it barely uh, comes out away from that right there. And I do a reference line just uh, right there going across. Uh, just to show you guys how low it goes. It goes barely uh, lower than the almond shape for the head. Now this is the top of the claw right here. If it's a little bit confusing guys, I recommend that you guys look at the reference just to roughly see the shape of the of the claws, you know, maybe it, it might be a little bit easier for you guys just looking at the at the at the reference. Uh, so that's why I put it up there, but but now we're going to do this other claw right here. And uh once again, this one's the biggest one of the hand and this one goes a little bit lower than the than the right one. Just see as a point out right there. And this one goes up to the middle of the oval shape for the hand. <clears throat> and as you guys can see, it gets really close to the actual tail. And then I need to curve this one a little bit more. This one's too straight. Uh, I believe I changed that later on. Like I said, it's still a sketch, guys. So any changes, we're going to do them later on. So now this one goes a little bit higher than the actual uh, shape right there. This one meets up almost with the top. And now we could just do the the bottom where it connects. There we go. All right, so now right here we're gonna do the the shape that it makes right there, um, in between the fingers or the claws. I mean, I'm sorry. If you guys look at the reference, you, you will know what I mean. It's like where the red and black start, like where they meet up. And then this is the top of the hand of the wing. We could erase those reference lines, you know, that way it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so now we're going to start by doing this claw right here. And as you guys can see, this one is almost the same height as the other one. It doesn't go higher than the one that we just did. And it should be around here. That's why I did the bottom first. So it should be around there. And as you can see right here, I made it uh, fairly straight. Although it should be a little bit more curved. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It doesn't have to be 100% like the reference. And then we could just connect the claw right here. And then around here, we could just do the shapes that it makes like small details once again look at the reference just to get an idea of where we at that's where the red and black meet and then basically this is the top and then this is the bottom of the of the hand there we go This is why I put up the reference, guys, because sometimes uh, just by looking, following my tutorial, some, sometimes things might look a little bit confusing, you know. Um, so just by having the reference up there, I feel that it might help you guys a lot more, you know, uh, just to follow where we at, what we're doing. And at the same time, uh, you guys can make any changes. You guys don't have to follow me 100%. Uh, you guys can look at the reference some, for some areas, you know. Uh, but yeah, so now right here we're gonna do this shape right here, and this is basically gonna be uh, the one of the legs. Right here, I'm just looking at the reference, guys, because I have it on my tablet, and it's really small on my tablet. I I, bar I could barely see it. But uh, all right, so right here under the oval shape, we're gonna do the straight line going across, and then we're gonna. Uh, do another one going down and then just curve it 
And uh, right here we're going to do this reference line right at the bottom of the tail. You guys can see right there. And this is just going to help us know how far to do the legs. Basically that's where he's standing. It's like the floor. And now the legs are a little bit harder. I think this is one of the things that uh, give me the, uh, the hardest time. Uh, this is like the right side of the leg. This is going to be like the 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 toe that's sticking out to the right and then this one is the one that's pointing to the left basically is the bottom side of the of the leg this is the claw and this leg is basically the same thickness as the wing that we did guys like half of the almond shape, if you guys know what I mean. The claw right here. Like I said before, the legs are what gave me the hardest time. For some reason, I know they're simple, uh, but for some reason I couldn't get the, the toes right. Now this is the other one. And just try to do all the, all the, the fingers the same. Uh, thickness, you know what I mean once again and the claws the same size like the toenails All right, so now that we have this around here We're gonna do the top part like the block the black part that he has right there on the knee If you guys look at the reference, you know what I mean There we go so now just by having those details right there like the leg and the claws, uh, we're starting to see uh, Evelta, you know, the drawing starting to come alive and um, uh, we're on our way to draw Evelta. And this is my first time drawing them guys. I know it might not look like it, but it is the first time I'm drawing them. Alright, so now for the top right here, it's around there, it's like the same thing on the other side as you guys can see it's a pointer right there. It's almost the same distance from this one. So once again, this is like the shoulder area. And this is going to be one of the fingers. And then it connects to around here. Once again, as you can see, it gets pretty close to the, um, to the neck, to the gray part. the shoulder for him I'm just looking at the reference paying attention to uh, the lines you know and then right there is the like the black uh, line that he has at the top of the um, of the shoulder of the wing just like another side all right so now that we have that we could do the rest of the neck right here like the fur honestly I don't know what it is um, so right here we're just doing the basic shape And around here, it splits into two. There we go. There we go, guys. So hopefully now it's easier for you guys to, to tell where we are. Uh, just by adding those details, we could basically see um, the reference. You know, we could basically know where everything is. Um, now all we need now is just to finish the the bottom of the wings to do the tail and to finish off the leg and uh, we basically have our our basic uh, outline of Ivelta. So now for this side, this is the right side of the of the foot right here. Uh, this is where the claw is. And if you guys look at the reference, this leg right here is a little bit bigger than the one on the left. Um, so the claws and the fingers are a little bit bigger, not by much, but they are. This is where it gave me, this part was the hardest part for me out of the whole drawing, guys. It takes me a couple of tries, a few tries just to get it right. And once I start doing my final drawing, it's just, I don't know, it, it takes me a couple more tries uh, just to get it right. Uh, but once again, try to make the legs the same thickness as the other, as, as the other leg. Although I think I'm, I'm making this one a lot thinner. It's a little bit thinner than the other leg. But like I said, it gives me, uh, for some reason... This this gave me a, a hard time as yes, because it doesn't look right.
and I erase the inside. So I don't know if I changed that, guys. Honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember noticing this, but uh, that one's a little bit shorter. But yeah, so now this this was part one, guys. Uh, make sure to check out part two. The link right here is on the screen. And if um, if it's not up there, you guys could always look at the description. The link for part two is going to be down there. And if you guys can't find it there, just check out my channel. Uh, part two should be there. Um, you guys could look it under the playlist that I have under Legendary Pokemon. Um, so thanks for watching guys remember to leave a like before you go to part two if you guys are are drawing him I just want to know how many people are gonna draw him and I guess I'll just catch you guys on part two